Alright, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 41 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon. This is going to be texturing. First off, delete our lovely skylight. Um, change the rendering to or the renderer to Mental Ray. Then, let's just um, let's see here. Yeah. So go to materials. Select a new one here. Pick arc and design. Then you get all this fancy stuff here. Let's just select everything and boom. Side selection. Before we go any further, um, when you have this screen, I'm trying to make it smaller here so you can see. Um, these are pretty much how fast it renders. You know, image precision, this is how jagged the lines are. Shadows, how um, realistic they are. These are your, um, like the reflections in the metal and then the refraction, so like what it does to other metals. Final gather is pretty much your lighting, right? the bounces and stuff. Um, we'll put it on draft for now. And we'll put the bounces to 2. If you want to do a really accurate one, put it to like 8 or 10 or some crazy number like that. But if you render it out, first it'll do the final gather. Um, yeah, I don't know how many FPS I'm getting right now, but then after the final gather, it'll do the actual rendering. So let us begin our material. Um, the color will be a little darker than this, I guess. Next, check metal material. That kind of gives it a more of a metallic look. Then you got to go down here, though, to the reflectivity versus angle. And just raise this up to about there. And next, let's put some photometric lights in here. We'll do a um, free light, I guess, for now. Put one over here, one over here. And let's just see what that does. So F9 renders for you guys. I'm just going to pause it. Alright. So, yeah, it's really dark. But that was kind of my fault. What you're going to do is go to environment, maps, bitmaps, and go find a cool image. Um, preferably one with some light stuff in it. So, let's see, we have a pit droid. Here, it's kind of a cool one. Just find any image and go into materials. Drag the image over here. Instance. Um, change this to spherical. Then, if we re-render it, it should hopefully come out better. Yeah, now we're getting some nice um, reflections here, but they're a little too nice. So, go back into the material editor here. Let's go to bump, um, noise, which is somewhere, there. oh there it is, and you can just pull this up to get a, a bit of a fractal, just makes it kind of more bumpy-ish. Let's bring the intensity up to 0.4, just see how it looks. I'm actually going to on my render setup here, just decreases here, so I might actually be able to render it real time. So you see, we're starting to get some imperfections here. It's kind of wavy, but that's too much. So, back to materials. Um, bring the size down, I believe. Yeah, down. And then 
Let's re-render. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Next, let's bring this down to point 0.2 and render again. I'm just trying to get some bumps, but not overly, not overdoing it. So let's try 0.05. Um, hmm. Let's increase color here a bit. The rendering. Um, oh, what was it? Let's not do this environment. Let's do um here it is Metroid Physical Sky. Then add a um, create lights daylight system. This is really cool. If I can get it to work. Of course it just disappeared. Alright, there we go. Let's increase the size of this thing. Alright, and we can delete these omnis now. Oops. What this does is it allows you to control pretty much everything. Turn this to manual. Um, view move it around here and go to the rendering exposure control change this to mental ray exposure control click render preview and it'll give you a little thing right here and you can change the exposure value <coughs> to pretty much whatever you want it to be let's try this I just give some really cool results. Um, Alright, then just for the sake of things, let's make a plane um, below this here. And we'll make it green. Use that out. Just so I can see where the reflections are. <clears throat> and it's looking pretty cool. Alright, next let's um, light in shadows, enable hardware shadowing. Just so that Things are cool looking. I don't know what's wrong with these, but oh well. Select this and assign that to a new material. Okay. Architecture and design. Color. And make it kind of dark green. Okay. Um, and let's up here. Just get rid of a little bit of the reflectivity. Bring the glossiness down a bit, which makes the circle a little more diffuse, you could say. And also let's um, figure out where we put that other map. There we go. Just oops, pop that right on there. And let's give the metal one to the outside piece. We'll render that. And after this render, that'll be end of part whatever I'm on, 41. And I'll see you in part um, 42.